Linda Joyce Greenhouse born January 9, 1947, is the Knight Distinguished Journalist in Residence and Joseph M. Goldstein Lecturer in Law at Yale Law School. She is a Pulitzer Prize-winning reporter who covered the United States Supreme Court for nearly three decades for The New York Times. She is president of the American Philosophical Society since 2017, and a member of the Phi Beta Kappa Senate. Early life Greenhouse was born to a Jewish family in New York City, to H. Robert Greenhouse, a physician and professor of psychiatry at Harvard Medical School, and Dorothy She received her Bachelor of Arts degree in government from Radcliffe College in 1968, where she was elected to Phi Beta Kappa. She received her Master of Studies in Law from Yale Law School in 1978. She married lawyer Eugene R. Fidel on January 1, 1981, in Washington, D.C., in a Jewish ceremony. Together they have one daughter, filmmaker Hannah Margalit Fidel, born October 7, 1985. Topic career Greenhouse began her 40-year career at the New York Times covering state government in the Papers Bureau in Albany. After completing her master's degree on a Ford Foundation Fellowship, she returned to the Times and covered 29 sessions of the Supreme Court from 1978 to 2007, with the exception of two years during the mid-1980s during which she covered Congress. Since 1981, she has published over 2,800 articles in The Times. She has been a regular guest on the PBS program Washington Week. In 2008, Greenhouse accepted an offer from The Times for an early retirement at the end of the Supreme Court session in the summer of 2008. Seven of the nine sitting justices attended a goodbye party for Greenhouse on June 12, 2008. She continues to blog for The Times in the Opinionator section. In 2010, Greenhouse and co author Reva Siegel put out a book on the development of the abortion debate prior to the 1973 Supreme Court ruling on the subject, before Roe v. Wade. This was largely a selection of primary documents, though with some commentary. Greenhouse criticized U.S. policies and actions at Guantanamo Bay, Abu Ghraib, and Haditha in a 2006 speech at Harvard University. In it, Greenhouse said she started crying a few years back at a Simon & Garfunkel concert because her generation hadn't done a better job of running the country than previous generations. <laughs> Awards and prizes. Greenhouse was awarded the Pulitzer Prize in Journalism Beat Reporting in 1998, "...for her consistently illuminating coverage of the United States Supreme Court." In 2004, she received the Goldsmith Career Award for Excellence in Journalism and the John Chancellor Award for Excellence in Journalism. She was a Radcliffe Institute Medal winner in 2006. When she was at Radcliffe, she said in a speech given in 2006, I was the Harvard stringer for the Boston Herald, which regularly printed, and paid me for, my accounts of student unrest and other newsworthy events at Harvard. But when it came time during my senior year to look for a job in journalism, the Herald would not even give me an interview, and neither would the Boston Globe, because these newspapers had no interest in hiring women. Criticism <coughs> 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 Greenhouse has expressed her personal views as an outspoken advocate for abortion rights and critic of conservative religious values, and a 2006 report on NPR questioned whether this compromised the appearance that she maintains journalistic neutrality on such matters. New York Times public editor Daniel Okron said that he has never received a single complaint of bias in Greenhouse's coverage. Topic. Journalism Conference, 2007 
On August 9, 2007, a television crew from C-SPAN was forbidden to film a panel discussion at a meeting of the Association for Education in Journalism and Mass Communication. Greenhouse had told organizers that she would not be able to answer questions as fully and frankly if the session were filmed. The vice president of programming at C-SPAN, Terence Murphy, questioned the decision. If professors of journalism and working journalists taking part in a journalism education conference don't stand up for open media access to public policy discussions, who will? Topic: <laughs> Suggestions of conflict of interest, 2008. Ed Whelan, writing in a blog associated with National Review, suggested that Greenhouse had an obligation to her readers to inform them when reporting on a Supreme Court case that her husband Eugene Fidel had submitted an amicus brief, he had submitted an amicus brief in the Hamden case. Fidel also submitted an amicus brief in the Boumediene case when it was at the D.C. Circuit level before it went to the Supreme Court. Clark Hoyt, the public editor of the New York Times at the time, opined that the paper should have clued in readers to Greenhouse's conflict, but defended the neutrality of her coverage. Emily Bazelon and Dahlia Lithic, writing in Slate magazine, complained that the New York Times had failed to stand up for Greenhouse and defended Greenhouse from Whelan's criticism. They quoted Yale Law School professor Judith Resnick who pointed out that Whelan had been unable to point to any actual sign of bias. Unable to point to any actual bias, Whelan resorts to the petulant claim that the effect of Fidel's involvement in the detainee cases would be impossible to separate, from the broader political bias that pervades so much of Greenhouse's reporting. In a rebuttal in the National Review, Whelan asserted both that Bazelon and Lithic had resorted to "...baseless ad hominem attacks and to literally catty comments about right-wing kitty cats." He then refutes the claim that he did not provide any actual examples of bias, and points readers to a previous article in his series on Greenhouse's alleged conflict of interest. 1. Topic. Works Greenhouse, Linda 2005. Becoming Justice Blackman, Harry Blackman's Supreme Court Journey. New York, Times Books. ISBN 0-8050-8057-0. Greenhouse, Linda March 2004. Because we are final. Judicial Review 200 Years After Marbury", PDF. Proceedings of the American Philosophical Society. 148 1, 38. Archived from the original PDF on October 18, 2011. Retrieved March 18, 2011. Greenhouse, Linda, Siegel, Reva before Roe v. Wade, Voices That Shaped the Abortion Debate Before the Supreme Court's Ruling. New York, Kaplan Publishing. ISBN 978-1-60978-663-2. Notes External links Appearances on C-SPAN Linda Greenhouse the 10th of April 2005 The Evolution of a Justice New York Times retrieved the 6th of October 2007 Jeffrey Rosen the 6th of May 2005 a pivotal justice less than supremely confident review of becoming Justice Blackman. New York Times. Retrieved 6 October 2007. Linda Greenhouse 2006. A Bridge Over Troubled Water. 2006 Radcliffe Institute Medalist. Radcliffe Institute for Advanced Study, Harvard University. 
archived from the original on the 26th of August 2007. Retrieved the 6th of October 2007. Byron Calamy, the 8th of October 2006. The public editor, hazarding personal opinions in public can be hazardous for journalists. New York Times. Retrieved the 6th of October 2007. Jessica Bennett, the 28th of September 2006. Fair and balanced. A former New York Times ombudsman says Linda Greenhouse's political comments aren't necessarily a bad thing. Newsweek. Archived from the original on the 12th of May 2007. Retrieved the 6th of October 2007. Video clip of June 2006 Harvard speech. Clark Hoyt, the 20th of January 2008. Public and private lives intersecting. New York Times. Retrieved the 22nd of January 2008.